We are officially at war with the UK. Just the UK, I don't think we can technically say this is the world war just yet, but Italy decided to go after Greece, and I'm, I'm backing up my, my friend in the Axis. Sometimes I say some stuff that I feel like is gonna get taken out of context. Uh, years later, I just my friend in the Axis powers. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be uh, it's pretty funny. Okay, so I am I'm missing a little bit of support equipment. It shouldn't take long until we get up um, those units. I'm, I'm not super worried about it. Uh, one thing I think I will do though, just in case, is uh, we should probably just deploy these guys. Boom, let's deploy them, get them on the front lines, and uh, and let's do this. Let's also make sure that we give our air wings a mission. I don't know if we have any. Do we have any aces or anything like that? Uh, no, of course we don't, Drew. I've got 30 planes. Why would you think that? Okay, so uh, let's put you guys into the South African Air Territory, or or uh, I don't know what this is even called. Air, you know, the region. Air, air, yeah, I guess just Air Region. Okay. <laughs> and uh, go ahead and give me Air superior Superiority, because I'm going to hope the British won't be bringing down their planes. They totally might, though. They, uh, they totally, totally might. Okay, so let's wait. Now, all these units are entrenched. If, uh, if they want to attack me themselves, they can, but I think we have some time to kind of sit here for a little bit. UK have called uh, Canada. Okay, Canada's in on the war. So, the big news in the last video, probably the biggest, actually, one of the biggest, is that the United States and Australia formed their own faction, which means the Australians will not be uh, coming after us, and uh, that's great. I mean, the Australians weren't as much of a threat as, the, as obviously the United States were. So the United States are going to be doing their own thing. We still might eventually at a point go to war with them because Japan, I mean, they ultimately formed that faction because they're fearful of, fearful of Japan. Japan will join the Axis at some point. Uh, I'm assuming they're going to win their war over China, which is pretty good. It all depends on how these events play out, though. What order they play out is the, is the key. Greece joined the Allies. Obviously, that... That took place, and uh, good, yes, yeah, send all your forces over. Nationalist Spain, go for it, buddy. Who else? Hungary, okay, Hungary, who typically joins the Axis as well. Bring them all over, sounds great. And uh, do I have anyone else that I could get? Screen attack, screen defense, shit, well, we don't really need designers all that much. Um, do we want to switch this up at all? Service by requirement, right now I've got 10%. Oh, we're probably going to need this. Yeah, let's do it. 10%, I mean, that it, it's not going to be affecting my factories all that much. Let's go ahead and do it, though, for now, because I know I'm going to need the extra manpower. Uh, I'm about to get a lot more manpower, though, once I reconstitute the Cape Core, I, I guess. I'm, I'm guessing that's what that's going to do for us. Uh, all right, so I think we're good to go. Whoa, what is this? Oh, obviously we need fighters. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to spend any time with those fighters. Um, although, wait a second, hold on. Logistically... No, logistically, we've got to put more military factories inside of the uh, support equipment. Yeah, so let's do that. And, and, and its efficiency is going gonna, is gonna to progress slowly. Just got to give it some time. All right, so let's wait. I'm going to sit here and chill for a little bit. I'm not going to attack Britain. We're going to wait. Synthetic oil experiment. Okay, while I'm on this subject, though, we, uh, we do need some more oil. So I'm going to go ahead and build at least one. Yeah, let's just build one there so I can at least try to wane myself off of the support of the United States who ultimately will not like me for a long time. But at some point in the future they're going to be like, nah, I don't like them anymore. I'm assuming. I, I guess. We don't We don't know that for sure. Okay, so it is 1939. Uh, production efficiency cap 15%. I think that's the way I want to go more than likely. Support equipment. Land doctrine is actually also... Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah, we do need that. Let's go for that instead. And uh, we can ignore that. Okay, so Germany, how you doing? You're doing well. You are at war with Lithuania at the same time. Oh, so did, you did join? No, no, that was me. Okay. Hmm. Well, hopefully Bulgaria joins. It looks like they like Italy, so that's that's a good sign. And uh, I think we're ready to begin. Oh, good. National Spain and Hungary are here. Very nice. Let's do it. Let's do this. And I'm, I'm going to go with an aggressive plan because I'm assuming I'm outnumbering them. In terms of just raw power, yeah, it looks like that. I mean, you'll, <laughs> oh yeah, definitely, that's perfect. Okay, so what else? What what else are you asking for? For aluminum? Oh, did you? Did you lose track of uh, how much do I need? Okay, then I'll go someplace else. Does Italy have any aluminum? Yeah, you don't. Uh, yeah, that's not good. Okay, I might have to go to the U.S. again. Okay, I'm gonna cancel this deal. 
I think I will just go to the US for now because I know I have probably like two or three years I know the J Japanese probably prob I don't know I don't sh I shouldn't say I know but I'm pretty sure the Japanese won't be declaring war anytime soon on uh, the Australian faction so let's go ahead and grab ourselves a little bit of this and uh, keep people happy all right Nashville Spain do your thing do your thing get up in here fall of Warsaw perfect okay so Poland didn't stand a chance um, hopefully Italy's doing well luckily Italy doesn't have to worry about the French commune just yet I guarantee you it's not gonna take much longer though obviously Germany's Germany's gonna win their war against Poland we'll see if the Soviets um, there it is so the, the Soviets did oh man that that did not take long at all so obviously the French are gonna join in uh, I didn't do anything here I did not do anything can can you will you let me puppet it? I'm just kidding. Okay, never mind. I'm just kidding. Just a joke. Okay, here, pass. I don't I don't want anything over there. So, yeah, definitely not. There it is. Japan joined the the Axis too. This might slow down Japan's Uh Well, no, it might not. It depends I don't know. This might slow down Japan's progress in China. I really wanted Japan to defeat China first before they went after the Soviet Union, but but we'll wait. We'll wait. Yeah, let's let's chill for a second. Um, good, I actually have support equipment now. That's great. Oh, this is this is going really really well so far. Uh, yes, please, please. Wait, wait, wait. Are, are you coming into my war, or am I coming? I'm coming into your war. I guess China isn't a big threat to me at all. And uh, okay, so there goes Japan's Japan's puppet. Germany, have you have you been? Are you in the war yet? I cannot believe that. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. This is so weird. I really thought that that would would not this would not play out like this. I guess this is kind of a good thing. I'm not at war with France, am I? No. Okay. There you go. Okay, Hitler's gonna have to help me and Mussolini out if he wants to, if he wants our support. He we need to do both. Yeah, you need to support on both sides. We need the support on both sides. Okay, looks like Japan. Jo what is this? Uh, there are faction members justifying... Okay, so Germany's trying to justify a war against Belgium. That will call them into the Allied War. All right. Um, hey, as long as I'm not war at war with France, I think this is this is good. I, I'm coming closer to Belgium territory, which... Uh, oh, I'm at war with Belgium, right? Or have they officially joined? Not yet. But when Germany obviously goes to war with them, then it will be time. So I did have, a, have an idea to... When, when, when are my next guys coming out? It's going to take some time. I did want to land a naval invasion here. It looks like we do have air, uh, naval superiority, kind of. This might be a really stupid idea, but I am kind of thinking about... <laughs> oh, man. Search and destroy. Whoops, I always click the wrong button there. Okay. I mean, it's telling me right now that I don't have... No, see, I think that because Italy is helping... I think we might have it. I don't know. I think we might have naval superiority is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to go and just begin and, and just kind of to see what happens. Um, so remove history of segregation. Yeah, that would be great. I, I really, I would like that. I uh, thought we reconstructed the Cape Corps as a mostly non-combatant force. The threat of invasion means we must give the for greater resources, training, and access to weapons. Remove. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I, I, that's, that's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that. I, I think what I'd rather do is, um, army experience. Whoa, here we go. Factory output. Let's do this. I didn't, I forgot that I could jump down this part of the tree after I joined the axis. So let's do that. And uh, I'm guessing you're still justifying against Belgium. You are. Okay, well, this is going really well. Really well. I'm not going to start my naval invasion planning just yet. Although, there's a lot of people that have nothing to do, Drew. So, you might as well. You know what? I am. Boom. Because cause they'd be suffering from a lot of attrition. I've got too many. I've got 18 divisions trying to go through this little piece of land. So, that's going to be a mess. Let's... Uh, Let's send you over here and let's start like a little naval invasion. Or let's try. Let's plan for it, at least. So I want to come there. And, um... 
Let me make sure that you guys have... Oh, you guys already are assigned. Okay, perfect. Alright, so let's give them some time. How, how, how long are we looking at? Do we not have convoys? Uh-oh. Oh, because I'm trading with so many people. Well, I can switch that up, but... I'm making three a year, three destroyers a year. That's great, but um, that is great. I will, I will say that. Okay, here. There we go. Okay, so I think that's, I think that'll satisfy our problem for now. I'm hoping. I'm not entirely sure. Hey, what are you doing? Do you need this guy? Oh, you're new. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay, I was confused for a second there. So I'm, I'm assuming that we have the. Uh, do we get the, the... We don't. Not in East Africa just yet. Okay, come on, Italy. Come on, Italy. I think the, I think they'll have it. I think Italy will have it, hopefully. We'll, we'll wait and see. We can, we, we've got lots and lots of time, so it's okay. Uh, Non-aggression pact, yes, that's fine. I'm happy with you. And, uh, yes, we knew about that. Man, we got half a million manpower. That's great. That is so good. Now, I don't know what I want to do, because I don't know movement makes... What is what is this? British civil servants woke to a rude shock this morning as a, a resuit of recent provincial elections came in. It is clear now that a large majority of Indians have given their votes to pro whoever that is candidate candidates. <laughs> uh, in provincial across... In provinces across India, calls, uh, calls have already started to turn this limited amount of local government into total self-rule as quickly as possible. That is good. That is so good. So the British Raj, British Raj might be leaving the common turn as well. A spokesman for the British government stressed that now we was uh, now the time to discuss such measures. Okay, okay, okay. I, I really hope that that's what that's saying. So does that mean that they're no longer a colony? Um, they still are a colony technically. Okay. Second Vienna... Award. All right, sounds good. Hungary's joined the Axis. Good, good. Yeah, I'm at war with British Raj at the moment. How's your war going, Germany? I mean, you're only fighting against the Soviets, so you should be doing well. But then again, they always like to build up a bunch of forces along France. Fren the French border. Oh, wait. No, no, no. What am I? You're at war with them. Yeah, never mind. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just stupid. That's just crack. I thought that they weren't at war yet. I, f I forgot that France went communist here. Okay, good. Hungary's, uh, Hungary's a good partner. I don't know. Hungary can't really make a difference against Greece at the moment. Yeah. They can't really make it a big difference against Greece. Oh, so am I at war with... Uh... No. They haven't called me in. I'm surprised. They called Italy into the French war, but not myself. That's good. That's really good. I hope that I get to stay out of this. I'm, I'm pretty sure I could... Uh... I could try to join myself, but I, I'm not. I'm not going to. Okay, so the convoys are coming. Even though I don't have the naval superiority, I don't think I do. Uh, unless I'm. Did did I have my guy go this way? I don't even know. Okay, what what is this treaty? Romania is now stands significantly weakened. Oh, a little concerned. What just happened? I don't. I have no idea. I didn't. I didn't read it, but. I'm assume that well, Romania goes either way. We'll see. We'll see. Nice Italy. Nice. Okay, so Italy's doing good in Greece. That's some good news. Uh, it is 1939. Yeah, I think I I want better efficiency for my factories. We've got another military factory. This is good. So you know what? I might be able to. Let's see. Logistically, we're still fine, right? We are. We are. Um. Maybe we should build some fighters, huh? Huh? Maybe. I mean, I really want motorized uh, divisions, though. That's what I really, really want. But I don't have the oil at the moment. It, how's the uh, How's the construction of our? Okay, we just began that. Okay, so let's not do that just yet. Um, well, I don't want that that either. If I were to do some fighters, I, I wouldn't have this either. Okay, you know what? Here, let's just let's focus on some more support equipment for now. Is what I really need. Because, you know what? I'm probably going to add some more support anyways to my division. So, that's a better idea. Do I want to do that now? Maybe not yet. Let's give it some time. Yeah, let's let's not do it yet. And let's wait for the convoys to come. I need those convoys anyways because I wasn't going to be able to trade. 
Okay, Belgium. Whoa! Whoa, this is so weird. Um, okay, Belgium just joined the commentary, and I have never, ever seen that. Uh, oh my gosh, that is so weird. Belgium is like 95% democratic, though. Whoa, okay, that's really cool. I've, I didn't think that, that was going to be a thing. This expansion makes things so different. I, I cannot wait to do an AI only battle. It's just like so different. And look at that. We don't have to worry about. Wait. Oh, we're at war with Belgium. Not yet. Not yet. But they. We will be. Um. Can we do this yet? We cannot. We can't do this yet. Okay. Let's uh. Let's group you guys together. So I want you just to search and destroy here and here. So what, is this is this why? Do we have to actually come outside to the Southwest Indian Ocean? Look, there's clear superiority by Italy, I think. I think there is. I know that I could be building fighters with my extra military, but I or my extra military factory, but I don't know if I want to just yet. Daily autonomy. Don't really care about the autonomy, but oh, there we go. That's what we want right there. Bunch of bunch of things. Bunch of things. Okay. I think I need to upgrade my equipment too. Okay, so it's October. Do we want to uh, do we want to rush some things? It's so important that we get that extra inventory br uh, breakthrough and things like that. Maybe I will. 144 days. I'll do it. I will do it. And let's go ahead and update this. Nice, better guns. Um, we've got tons tons of weapons. Anyways, it's it's fine. Yeah. So East African coast. We do not have the East African coast. Hmm. Well, I mean, if, if, if no one is going to go do it, then then I'll tell you guys to go do it. Oh, it's because... Oh, this is a huge sea tile. Look at how huge this is. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to... And we can try it. Dang, I don't know if I'm going to be able to cut through. It doesn't really matter. I mean, we're having so much success over here. I don't. I really don't understand why they haven't called me into uh into these wars but i'm totally fine with it if i'm just fighting the uk <laughs> that is great that is so good british raj really wouldn't make a difference whether they go independent or not right now at the moment anyways so i don't I, i'm just that's kind of interesting okay so what do, what do i need uh, i need steel which is something that i actually have but okay so we'll we'll give uh, germany a little bit more steel or civilian factories for their steel Wondering how much Italy's helping us out in this situation. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've gotta I've gotta redraw this. Alright. So I mean I guess we'll just kinda go to is it Lake Victoria? I think that is. And uh, we'll just go we'll go straight through, it's fine. Yeah, we're, this naval this naval invasion was a failure, but I, I mean, hey, I had something planned, so that's good. So we want to get up here towards Italy, help out Mussolini as much as possible, and uh, at that point, if we could get the UK, the British, completely out of Africa, that would be fantastic. Uh, and then we can focus on on the communists, and and we'll see how is Italy doing against Germany. I'm sorry, Italy doing against Greece. Okay. Oh, you better watch it though. Get your stuff together. Get your stuff together. Germany seems to be doing fine right now against the Soviet Union. This is so weird because it's such a divided world war. It's not even not even together. And then National Spain will come to help us out eventually as well. I'm surprised to see that our war with the UK is going so well. Although, of course, they don't have the French support in Africa. And I'm, I'm sure they kind of have their hands full uh, back in the British Isles. And there's something to be said about the fact that they don't have as much control over myself, South Africa. Uh, India is trying to leave Australia for sure. They really don't have as much power from their commonwealth, so I think that's why we're having so much success as of now. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.